It seems like I'm always trying to beat the snow when shed hunting. If you don't pick the fresh drops up right away in January, they're going to be buried until the snow melts. So I like to check my spots frequently without disturbing the bedding areas. It's a smaller one here. Uh, two and a half year old buck here. Just uh, walking in this hardwoods here, and first time here, and they got these pick cornfields just hammered. And I found this little spot here, it's all chewed up in the woods, and this shed was laying here. Nice little shed, heavy horn, little two and a half year old buck with potential. I just got in here, and I'm gonna have to scour this pretty good because they got beds all over in the hardwoods here. So it's a couple of real big bucks that I know about. I'd like to find them. So. Good start. Well, I just got in here and I had found this one shed already. And uh, I'm on the same trail and I got about 50 yards. I was walking down it and I found the second shed already. Right off the trail. And it's been here a while because we haven't had any snow for about three weeks. And that's got snow all over it. I gotta pick that up and see if I know that buck. This first one I found, I think I got a trail camera picture of him, so I like coming into the spot because I know most of these deer. I'll go pick this one up and see what we got. That's a nice shed there. Busted brow. I don't know if I've ever seen this buck before. I got trail cam pictures of most of the deer around here, but I don't know about him. Found this one about 50 yards up. I got trail cam picture of this buck for sure. He sure is a wide buck, that's for sure. But I'll get you a close up look at these here. Well, here's a better look at these two sheds. This buck here I found found first, about 50 yards up the trail. Like I said already, I, I have a trail camera picture of this buck in velvet. This buck here, it's a really nice shed. It's got a busted brow tine on it. He looked like he's a really wide buck. And this shed was right off the trail, 50 yards away from the first one, buried in snow. So it had been here at least three weeks because we haven't had any snow for quite a while. And I, I don't think I know this buck at all, so I just got in here. I've just been in here maybe 45 minutes. I'm heading to another um, part of the f farm here where there's another combine cornfield. If it's tore up like the rest of them, there's probably more sheds in here. It's uh, only the middle of January, and I'm picking up a lot of sheds already. This is the biggest one so far. A lot of, a lot of them like this, so. There's a bunch of bucks in here that I, uh, that I know and I'd like to, to find their sheds. They're, they're big bucks and I've been after them for a long time. So let's keep looking. Down in this hole, there's a dugout. Dugout here, hole. I think it's the match to this first one I found. Pick it up here. Yeah, it is. Well, First match set of the year for me. Just a two and a half year old eight pointer, but it's match set. And uh, I found this shed here down in this hole, and I found this one about 200 yards up in the hardwoods. I got trail cam pictures of this buck in velvet. He's a nice young buck, and it's the first time in this area, and I already found a real nice side of an eight. I showed you earlier, and this five point side with crab claw. I know this buck, I got trail camera pictures of him too. And I found a, a small one too, I didn't didn't get on video of it or nothing, but this goofy looking small one here. But I can't believe how these deer are dropping. It's January 16th, the weather's been brutal, but this past week it's warmed way up and I decided to come out and do some shed hunting today. And Man, is it paying off, I found five already, I've only been out here for probably a little over an hour. 
but that is awesome. I'm going to keep walking and try to match up these other ones too. they got to be here somewhere. Well, I had a really good day today shed hunting. I ended up finding five, five sheds in, in a spot I never even thought I'd find anything. It didn't look like they were hitting this area. And found this little small one here. And got some nice ones here. Um, first one I found was this uh, smaller side of an eight right here. And I got looking at it and I, I realized it was a, a buck that I got a bunch of tr uh, pictures of in velvet. And about 200 and 250 yards away, I ended up finding its match. Just a smaller size, just a smaller eight, probably two and a half year old buck, but match set nonetheless. This one was in a dugout hole out in the cornfield, and this one was right in the hardwoods, laying uh, right where a bed was at. And I kept walking, and after I found the one, I had found this one. This is a really nice shed. Uh, I'm not sure about this buck. I think I might have a trail camera picture of him about a mile from here. He has got a busted brow. This horn was uh, covered up with a lot of snow, and we haven't had snow for about three weeks, so this, this buck dropped really early. That's a nice dark horn. And I also found this nice crab claw five point shed. I also have trail camera pictures of this buck not 50 yards from here. Uh, he was coming to a mineral block in the summer and I got all kinds of pictures of him in velvet. He was a really nice buck. He's crab clawed on both sides. Heavy horn. He's about an 18 inch spread. So I will be back to try to find the, the match to this one and this one. And then there's also some other really big bucks that I know are here. Hopefully they're using this this winter. I like to find the sheds to them. So. It was a good day of shed hunting and I'll be back. Probably let it sit till next week and, and hit it again. Well, I'm making la one last effort here to find sheds before we get hammered. We're supposed to get about uh, six to 12 inches of snow at about noon. And they had this uh, pig bean field just hammered and there's some combine stuff up here that was hammered too and I haven't checked it all week since the snow's been melting. And, I had found one decent side of an eight pointer underneath a white pine on the edge of this field and I come out maybe find the match. Looks like I just did. It's buried on, completely on the bottom of the snow and I had found that one in December or maybe the first week of Jan January 7th it was, sorry. And I got the match right here. I'm pretty positive it's the match. So. I guess it's hard to say if it's the match or not. It's a nice antler, completely buried. Five point side. I found that, that four point side right underneath that white pine probably 75 yards from here. So I guess I'm really thinking it is probably the match, but you never know until you put them together. I'm gonna keep walking out in this field. They had it dug up pretty good. And this one was all the way at the bottom of the snow, so this bucket shed pretty early. So you can see how they got this field dug up really heavy. So if this ain't the match, maybe I'll find the match to this one or I'll find some other ones. I'm gonna keep walking this and hopefully find a few more before we get blasted today. And I just got out in the back of this cornfield and I found the first first shed and it's actually a match set a couple feet apart from each other. It's not a big set, but small eight pointer. I'll show you what they look like here and I'll pick them up.
Here's the one side. Awfully white antlers. I haven't been here very long. I was here about a week and a half ago, and these weren't here. Matches right here. It's a small set. Match sets are cool anyway, no matter what. Right on the back side of this cornfield, there's about a two acre patch of woods here, and they got it hammered down. And underneath this oak tree here, they had it staged up pretty good, and they're laying right there. Finding a lot of match sets this year. But I'm going to keep looking. Got a lot of walking to go yet. This shed is actually the match to the one from the last video with the hole in the beam. It was laying about two to three hundred yards away on a ridge in the middle of the swamp. It took a while to match it up, but I finally did. Gnarly looking hole in the end of it. Kicker off the G2. Well, it's middle of February, and I just found a big match set. I went and got Gideon in the camera to show you guys. It's like a big set laying side by side. Walk up here and see what we got. Actually, looks like a buck I got sent to a couple of years ago. His beams really swoop in. Super brow tines, holy cow. Probably 150 inch eight. I'm pretty sure I got a match to this buck from, a, or one side to the buck from a couple of years ago. Not too far from here either. Um, we're kind of in this hardwoods here next to a cornfield. I was walking down these trails and I spotted them laying probably about five feet away. I had no idea they were this big. But that is an awesome set. These G3s just go straight forward. Long tines, long beams. Wow, I'll be going after him next year for sure. Let's keep looking. Hopefully we can come up with some more. We're sure you get what you put into it. Sure, it looks like these sheds are just laying everywhere, but in reality, the miles we put on to find them, or maybe not find them, is staggering. All you can do is enjoy your time out there and hope you can find it before the snow buries them. <laughs> 